Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a professor. Hello Lucy, you said you wanted to talk about your paper, how is it coming along? Well, I've decided to stick to the topic on the political economy of nuclear power, but I guess I'm a bit stuck. Okay, what seems to be the problem? I'm sort of having trouble finding general reference sources, so I was wondering if you could recommend some for me. You can't find references on nuclear power? There are thousands of books and journals available at the library, and perhaps tons of new articles are published every six months. Well, to be honest, I'm at a loss to approach the subject, because the websites I have visited gave me all different numbers, and did not provide enough critical data for my study. Did you visit websites, like NED, Star Nuclear, and Fukushima? Yes, Professor, I did all the readings of the articles on those websites. That may be part of your problem. The websites you visited are for companies, that manufacture nuclear energy. They will most likely provide only positive ideas about their nuclear power, since the company will want other people and stakeholders to support them. Okay, so, I should not use the information from the websites of private enterprises, because they are sort of biased, right? That's correct. But I'm not saying they are giving out misleading information, nor are those sources of information not useful. What I'm trying to say is, those websites are not the most reliable source. Using them as citations, or references in your paper, may hamper the credibility of your entire paper. And therefore, you should try and dig into, more primary source materials. Um, primary sources. What do you mean, Professor? Primary sources are newspaper articles, reports, diaries, documents, as well as media, like audio, and video, which provide first-hand accounts of a topic. They are more credible, as evidence, as they are original materials. Along with that, secondary sources, which are generally scholarly books, and articles, which have interpreted and analyzed the primary sources, may give you great insights. Okay, then, is there a certain number of sources I have to use for my paper? How many sources do I have to cite? User judgment. How many sources do you think are necessary for your paper? Enough to support my argument. All right, I will make sure to do that. Question 9. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. What does the professor imply when he says this? You can't find references on nuclear power? Question 10. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. What does the professor imply when he says this? That may be part of your problem. Question 11. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Why does the professor say this? User judgment. How many sources do you think are necessary for your paper?